everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. How are we all doing? Welcome to a new week. It's Monday morning, quite early, and I'm not actually in work today. Well, I am, but not if that makes sense. I'm going to a conference, so I've got a little bit of time. I'm ready early for a change. I thought I would come on and have a quick chat to you to tell you all about an impromptu trip to the Creative Craft Sewing for Pleasure show that Ruan and I went to yesterday and we had an amazing time. So how this came about basically was a few weeks ago, Ruan just mentioned that, you know, every time these shows come up, we can't go to them all, can we? Because time, we, we all live busy lives, we've all got other stuff on, etc. And obviously cost as well and logistics, location, all that kind of thing. But I mean, it would be amazing to go to everything, wouldn't it? But it's just not possible. But every time we don't go to something, we all get FOMO, <laughs> serious FOMO. So Ruan just mentioned to Tamlin and I, do you fancy going to it on the Sunday? Because I've got the Sunday free. Now, I did have the Sunday free. Tamlin did as well, bless her. But unfortunately, you know, just to go down to Birmingham for the day from where Tamlin lives was just too much, bless her. So she couldn't come, which was a real shame. And we missed her dreadfully. But yeah, I had the day free. So Ruan and I said, well, we'll go. So we went along and yeah, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to the Stitch Festival this weekend coming up. So we were very conscious that, you know, we wanted to save some pennies for the Stitch Festival and yeah, it was it was really good. Um, but I still bought a few things. So I thought I would come on and just show you quickly what I bought. It was a really lovely day. We got there. I mean, it was really early. I was up at six o'clock on a Sunday morning, cursing Ruan, thinking, why did she talk me into this? Because I could have had a lie in because I'd been at work on Saturday anyway. And anyway, yeah, it was fine. I drove over to Ruan's bless her. She drove us to Birmingham and we also met up with Adele from Sofa Serenity and the lovely Becky from What Beck Sews. So we'd arranged to meet them because, again, I think they won tickets. So they hadn't originally planned to go, but they won tickets. So, yeah, they, they made a bit of a last minute decision to go as well. So we decided to meet up with the girls and the four of us just spent the day together having a really good time. We had a little wander around and looking at a few bits and pieces. Adele and Bex, it was hilarious because I don't know if you watch their channels. If you don't, you really should. They're just such good girls and good girls don't mean it like that, but you know, they're such good fun and lovely girls. And they had said on their Friday Sews vlogs last week that they were going with a budget of £50. Now, if you know Bex and Adele, you know when they get together, they're such a bad influence on each other and they end up buying all the fabric. So this was hilarious, the thought that they were going to be able to stick to that budget, but whatever. <laughs> we, um, we met up with them just as soon as we got into the show. And we had a lovely chat, a lovely catch up, a wander around to start with. And I bought some fabric within 30 seconds of being there. I know, because there is a bit of a story around this, because the, the fantastic stitch fabrics, which are M. Rosenberg and Son, are always at these shows, and they have the most incredible fabrics, usually from Italy, one-offs, etc., and they're just amazing. And you really need to get them when you see them, because they don't, obviously, it's not repeated stock. So I had seen something on their website that back in... I think a few vlogs back, I can't remember which one now, you'd have to go and look and watch them all, but I had chosen, you know, I'd bought some patterns from Sew Direct and this pattern here from Vogue, I bought to make a dress for my holiday. And I know this was a bit of a love-hate dress for a few of you. A few of you thought it just looked like a sheet over over you and, and it wasn't your thing, which is fine, but I love this. I just think for a holiday, it's gorgeous. So anyway, I saw this fabric, this fabric on Stitch Fabrics and I loved it. And I was so tempted to buy it because I was thinking I, I want to make this dress out of this fabric. It will be gorgeous. And I didn't buy it from the website because it comes in panels rather than by the meter. But when we saw Stitch Fabrics at the show, I asked them if they brought it with them. Now, one of the chaps, the younger chap, um said they did have it but the older chap said they didn't or he didn't think they did but what 
what he said to me was come back at the end of the day and if we find it we'll keep it to one side for you so I said that's fine but while I was stood at the the stall I found another fabric that I absolutely adored so I bought that straight away because you know it was like I need to get this now before anybody else gets it so I will show you that in a second but yeah we had a, apart from that we then had a little wander around all the stores we knew lovely Adam from Adam Sews had been there for the for the whole show so we wanted to see him we didn't actually get to see him well later on in the day because he was right at the other side of the show and we saw we met Becky from Becky's sewing studio which was lovely to see her we saw Emma from is it Emporia Patterns no sew me something no so different so different that's the one we saw Emma Emma Smith who I've met a few times before she's lovely and she was on the so different stand we saw Sarah from My Handmade Wardrobe and Crafty So and So. We met her very briefly as well, but she was she literally had to sort of zap off and do a bit of her own shopping before she had to get back to her stand. We saw Matthew from the Sewing Bee. He was milling about as well. So yeah, it was great. It was really great fun. We had such a lovely time, and a couple of subscribers came up to us as well to say hello. So hello, thank you for coming forward and, and saying hello because I know sometimes lots of people feel I don't know why but feel very nervous about doing that and there's really no reason to be because we, we don't bite <laughs> so yeah it was really lovely so we had a wander around then we decided we were you know a bit parched so we stopped and had a coffee and the coffee stop turned into about two hour prolonged lunch where we just chatted about families and moving houses and sewing and all sorts of stuff. It was just so nice because when we met Adele and Becky before, it was up in Newcastle when we went to Sew Toon and, you know, we didn't have a lot of opportunity really just to sit and chat. So it was actually really lovely to do that without, you know, the sewing bit that we all do and love, if that makes sense. So it was really lovely to get to know those girls a bit better. Yeah, great fun. And, you know, we were chatting about if, it wasn't for sewing and it wasn't for this community how we would never have got to know each other and how how it's brought so many people together it's a really beautiful thing isn't it so anyway so after we'd had our lunch lunch was super expensive Becky and Adele were so prepared they'd brought packed lunches with them which was just so good I hadn't Ruan hadn't so we bought a lunch and it was very expensive let me tell you but anyway it was lovely all the same so we had lunch and then we decided to hit the stalls and buy the fabric so Adele and Becky I won't tell you whether they blew their budget or not I will leave that to them to tell you when they get around to it but they did get a few bits and pieces which was great I bought the most I think Ruan probably came second I'm not quite sure she got a few bits and pieces but yeah I got a few bits and I thought I would share them with you so I will start with what I got from Becky's sewing studio she does the most amazing range of haberdashery and gifts and those kinds of things so there's lots of labels there's needle minders there's little crochet kits there are patches she's got fabrics as well and she does her own resin buttons and I bought two sets I could have bought more but obviously two sets well, probably enough, but I got these gorgeous sort of lilac-y ones and then these peachy ones as well. I just think they are gorgeous. So it was lovely to meet her and have a chat with her. So I'll leave a link to her website down below. Go and check her out. She just does have some lovely things and she's expanding her range of, of um, unique haberdashery all the time. She's got jewellery as well. It's lovely. It was a really lovely stall and it was great to see her and see her at one of these shows because I think it's the first time she's done anything like this. So yeah, lovely to get those. And we bought a little gift for Tamlin as well, which we're going to give her at the show later this week because yeah, with her not being there, we just thought it would be a nice idea to give her a little something that could remind her of the show that she couldn't get to. So um, I bought a bag from Adam because Adam was there with his range of beautiful, beautiful bags and caddies and inserts and things like that that he makes from Tula Pink. And I am a huge Tula Pink fan. I love her fabrics. They're just amazing. And I've got so many and just don't have time at the minute to make anything with them. But Adam is bringing a new pattern out soon. He showed us the 
the, ver the, the version that he's made of this new pattern that he's done. I'm not going to give you any more details about that at the minute, but it is amazing. And we were all like, oh, we need to make this. We need to make this when this pattern comes out. It's going to be amazing. But anyway, I have wanted, and this probably sounds a little bit, I, I don't know how this is going to sound, but I've wanted a bag. So when I go out with Piper and I take him walking, I've got somewhere to put his treats and um poo bags and things like that all those little bits and pieces my keys and all that sort of stuff so I've wanted a bag and I kept thinking I'm going to make one I'm going to make one I never get around to it but then Adam had these and oh it's just gorgeous this is from the Alice in Wonderland range um of Tula which is gorgeous it's one of my favorites probably because my daughter is a huge Alice in Wonderland fan and I bought this range to make her a quilt never got around to it probably will someday but anyway so he had these bags. He had a couple of them. This, my eye was drawn to this, but unfortunately Becky picked this up before me and she said, oh, this is gorgeous. I'm going to buy it. And I was gutted. Um, and I thought, oh, I want, I want that. But obviously Becky was going to buy it. And then she put it back. And we were chatting to Adam for ages. And then I said, Becky, are you getting that bag or not? And she went, no, no, I thought you might want it. And I was like, yes, absolutely. So I bought this from Adam, but it's this beautiful bag with this gorgeous strap on. And, you know, the little, Hardware that he uses is just beautiful. It's got two little pockets, which is beautifully lined. Look, and he uses, you know, the rainbow hardware, which is just stunning. Big pocket at the top here. Inside, absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to be perfect for me. Um, for that purpose, that's what I'm going to use it for. And you might think it's extravagant. You might think, why use a beautiful bag like that for walking your dog? But then it's going to make me think of my daughter. It's going to make me think of Adam, who's a great friend. And yeah, I will leave a link to his website down below if you are interested in any of his um, bits and pieces that he does. And he does commission as well. So, you know, if you want something like this, but don't like this particular style, he can basically do whatever you want. So yeah, go and check him out because he's lovely. He's a really lovely, lovely friend. So that was from Adam. And then the rest of the bits and pieces I got were fabrics. So I will start with what I got from Stitch Fabrics that I've already told you about. And then I'll show you the other bits. So I got one, two, three, four, five fabrics all together. So some of you might think that was extravagant. Some of you might think that wasn't bad for me. It's, you know, it is what it is. So the one that I bought from Stitch Fabrics that I immediately saw as soon as I walked up to the stand and bought within 30 seconds is this one. And it is absolutely beautiful i love this this is a cotton voile voile cotton lawn and it's got like a or is it is it like well it feels like a cotton sort of gauze but it's strong it's definitely stronger than gauze and it's got like that stripe detail in the base and then it's got all these beautiful beautiful summery colors in which are so my colours. I love this so much. Now, there's a Vogue dress that I want to make with this. Originally, I thought if I can't, if they don't have the fabric that I've seen on the website, I will use this for the, the Vogue dress that I mentioned earlier. But if they do have it when I come back to it, I will use this for another Vogue pattern that I've made two or three times now. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful for holidays. So I got three metres of this. And I will insert a picture of the pattern so that you can see, but it's a classic, gorgeous summer dress pattern. It's beautiful. So that's what that is going to be. And then the one that I went back for at the end of the day and they had got it and they'd put it to one side for me is this one. This is a panel print. I will probably insert a picture of it from the website because I haven't got enough room here to stand back and really show you what it looks like, but it's basically a linen fabric and it's like a panel print. Hopefully you can sort of see that in black and white. So each panel is about 80 centimetres wide and I got three panels and this is going to be the Vogue toga dress as I'm calling it. It's really lovely, beautiful quality, a nice weight of linen, but it's nice and drapey and I just think that is just going to be so gorgeous in that dress for my holiday. So I am so pleased that they had this at the show and that I was able to pick myself three panels of that. So that's what I got from Stitch Fabrics. And I went with a plan to get the new Thea pattern by Tilly and the Buttons because 
I know that I've mentioned before that I'm a huge fan of the In The Folds Peppermint Magazine Wide Leg Pants pattern, which is free or pay what you want pattern on their website. And I've made it about three or four times now and it's a classic pattern. It's free and it's fabulous. And then Tilly and the Buttons have brought out the Thea pants. And initially I thought, well, it's lovely, it's great, but I know that I can use that pattern and, you know, it's 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 not a pattern that I need to buy. But then I saw Jenny from Jenny Stitches. She was making them last week and she put some gorgeous pictures on Instagram of all of the details with the pockets and everything else. And I just thought, oh, I need to make these. <laughs> I need to make them. So I was going with the idea that I wanted to get just a plain sort of cotton twill fabric that I could make the Thea's out of and you know it was really difficult to find cotton twill they didn't have any play there was no one that had those sort of plain fabrics there was lots of plain cottons most of it really for quilting but not really for dressmaking but there was nobody selling good high quality cotton twill fabrics for dressmaking really so anyway we visited the Higgs and Higgs stand they had some stunning fabrics honestly and I saw this denim and you will probably be a bit surprised with the colour, but I am really getting into these sort of nice, natural, um, muted colours at the minute. And I've always been a, past, a sort of big pastel fan. I've been experimenting with colour a lot more over the last couple of years, but I am really drawn to these colours at the minute. And I think I'm getting influenced a bit by Janelle from Rosary Apparel because it's her colour palette and, and she's blonde and it really suits her and I just thought you know I want to just get a bit more of this into my wardrobe so I have bought this colour of this gorgeous denim with slight stretch in it from Higgs and Higgs this was £13.99 a metre you can see it's just got a bit of stretch there so I got three metres of this because they only do it in half metre lengths and yeah I'm going to make the Thea's out of this and then from Fabrics Galore I was drawn to this beautiful double gauze, which is here, which is quite a ditzy print for me. And I don't generally go for ditzy prints, but I thought those two colours work so well together. And I can make myself a gorgeous little top that will go really well with cropped fears for the summer. Now, this colour is obviously a really warm colour and against my skin tone, it's not in my colour palette. But, you know, I have said before that as much as I'll, I've had my colours done, and it gives me a guide. I am not going to be constrained by it, if that makes sense. And I'm still going to experiment with different tones of different colours. And I think, you know, because I'm wearing this as trousers and this, because it's got a lot of white in there, which is in my colour palette, then it's going to work quite well for my skin tone. So I am really excited to use these and to make the fears out of this. And I'm not sure what top I'm going to make with this fabric yet, but I will bring it closer so you can have a look. So yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love those. And then the last one I bought is this one. Actually, I didn't think about it. This is the one that I got from Fabrics Galore. So I've just completely got it wrong, which is not unlike me. This double gauze wasn't from Fabrics Galore. This was from Doughty's online and it was £7.50 a metre. So yeah beautiful beautiful fabric i will leave a link to everybody i've talked about down below for you in the comments this fabric that i've got now is from fabrics galore and again i am really into these fabrics at the minute for spring and summer all the sort of broderie on glaze the embroidered cottons in natural colors whites etc so yeah i saw this they'd got three different types of broderie on glaze on their stand and they were all £10 a metre and these are 100% cotton and I loved this one I think it's gorgeous it's got this lovely scalloped edge and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful this gorgeous design on it this floral design it's proper embroidered as well so I thought that was a really good price so I got again two metres of this to make myself a gorgeous summer top and that was it so all in all I'm really pleased with what I bought. I could have bought more. There were other fabrics that I really loved, but I'm conscious that we are going to the Stitch Festival later this week and I need to save some pennies for that as well. So yeah, brilliant day. Really, really enjoyed it. So glad I went and 
I hope you like what I bought. So that's it. Quick one from me today. I'm saying quick, it's been 20 minutes. But yeah, I wanted to just get this done and out to you so you could find out all about the day. Didn't really get any pictures. I think I took a couple of pictures of Rowan and I, but didn't get any with Del, Becky, the other Becky, Adam, just didn't do it. So, but I'm sure you've seen lots and lots of pictures already if you are on Instagram, because lots of the other people that have been going to the show have posted their pictures as well. So yeah, it was a great day and it was the first time I've been to that event and I had a really good time. So I'm looking forward to the next trip down to London late this week. Let me know down in the comments if you are going, if you're going to be there. And if you are, when we're there, obviously just do come up and say hello because it's always lovely to speak to people. So I'll leave it there, guys, for today. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will be back with you really soon. Take care. Bye.